Why are so many brands and logos staying still? As in, your brand logo, that's still a static image. In this day and age, it's time to get moving, people. I mean, for your logo to start moving, not you. I'm not saying you're lazy. I'm sure you move a lot. I mean, Canva uses a uh, movers and shakers, right? Uh, can we, can we cut? Movers and shakers, where did that come from? Hi, I'm Jenny, a brand designer here at Canva. In this video, I'll be sharing how you can add movement to your existing logo to give it a fresh look, grab the audience's attention, and ultimately elevate your brand. Don't be intimidated. Animation sounds difficult, but trust me, with Canva, it takes just a few clicks. But first, a question. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? We upload new videos every week, and you can really level up your Canva game by watching them. We already have an amazing library of design tutorials, taught by actual Canva knots, just like me. Oh, <laughs> this is a good one. That's my boss. A great video, if you've ever wanted to create your own wall art. So why animate your logo? Well, if you want to create the impression you're one step ahead, future thinking and original, in the way you do business, then an animated logo is the best way to introduce your brand. Think about it this way. Your logo needs to make an impression to be remembered. Adding movement and animation will surprise and delight people, giving it more of a chance of being recalled when they need it. It'll stand out from all the boring, static ones they're used to seeing. But what if you don't have a logo? Well, Canva has over 600 animated logo templates that are completely customizable. There are logos here for food businesses, beauty and fashion brands, gaming and technology, and lots more. So whatever your business, there's one here for you. Choose something that speaks to your brand and customize everything to suit. It's really that easy. But let's say you already have a logo you'd like to animate. There are different ways of doing that. Let me just quickly find a logo. Oh, let's use Lizard's one for her gaming crew. This is a great vid actually, if you wanna see how easy it is to create a logo from scratch. Well, let's start with the simplest style, page animations. To animate, simply click on this button and you'll see options in the sidebar. Page animations, like the name implies, allows you to animate all of the elements on the page. Let's try a few out by hovering our cursor over them. Simple. Party. What about corporate? Here you can choose when you want it to animate, as it enters or exits or both. And some, like rise, will let you adjust the speed and the direction. So, which animation should you choose? It depends on what you're trying to communicate or the story that you're telling. Sporty or trendy brands may need to evoke playfulness or dynamism. So, quick animations that have an edge to them. Beauty or health businesses normally want simplicity and calmness. So something slow and subtle. It's really up to you, but just be aware of the subliminal message you're sending. A beauty product that uses a fast jerky animation? It could work. Set the timing to five seconds by clicking on this clock. Animations under 10 seconds are best. Now let's see our finished logo by clicking on this play icon. It's simple, but will grab attention. All right, let's look into animating specific elements. Here's another logo from a juice brand, Clementini Fresh Juice. Select any of the objects that make up the logo and then click on animate. This will give you more control of the individual movements. Let's use burst on the name, maybe pan on the person. You know, you could choose an element that's already animated. Click on the elements tab, search for fruit. 
choose graphics only and filter for animations. Add it in. All right, preview time. Do you have a favorite one? Let me know in the comments. There's so many animated graphics to choose from, but try not to get too carried away by adding too many. That would make the design too busy and distracting. Sometimes moments of stillness within a moving juxtaposition attract even more attention. Wow, that sounded like it was from a Zen meditation book. So that's page animations, element animations and graphics that already have animation built in. Are you ready for something more advanced? I'll start with a logo for a gourmet cheese company. And this time, instead of using the animation button, I'll rely on the transitions that happen between pages. I'll quickly find some cheese. Then duplicate the page. Make it smaller, rotate it. Duplicate again and again going from big to small and small to big. Now, in between these pages, if you hover, you'll see an option to add a transition. Let's try a few by hovering over the top. My favorite is match and move. <laughs> Look at that. I'll add that transition in between all the pages and then hit the preview. Pretty great, isn't it? Now, that's just the simple of the simple, and you're probably asking, Jenny, what's this got to do with logos? Well, check this out. Well, you can see here, I've only used one element, the cheese. If we have a logo, then we can add it here next to it. Now, here's the tricky thing. I'll move it off the canvas on this page. Duplicate the page. Now I rotate the cheese. This will make it look like it's rolling. Select both items and move them so the logo is now on the page and the cheese is off the page. Apply match and move in between both pages. Now watch this. This would look so good sitting at the bottom of an email, on a presentation, or on a website. If we go here, we can create a GIF. This will download to your computer and be ready to upload into whatever platform you need. When you start putting all the different animation techniques together, you could do some pretty crazy things. It's really just a matter of experimenting. Check this one out. Now, let me show you how I did it. This is the full logo. I put a wipe animation on the tagline, create a duplicate and delete the tagline. Change the color of the legs. Duplicate again. On that first page, I'm gonna change the rotation of the legs a little. And then one more duplicate and delete the legs and move the name down. Let's check it. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to add the transitions in. Add match and move in between each. Now let's try that again. Isn't that great? That logo got me thinking about how you could use animations to make it more leggy. What do you think? Anyone wanna guess how I did that? Drop it in the comments if you think you know. Free website to the first person to guess it correctly. <laughs> Oh yeah, our websites are free already. Anyway, I'll let you know after the outro. I'd love to know about any creative animations you've created for logos. And your questions? Drop them below and we'll get back to you ASAP. So did you work it out? It's a little confusing, so let me run you through it. This only works because the logo has nice straight sections in between the top and bottom of the individual letters. I duplicated the name and put one below. Added in a box the same color as the background. Then created a new vertical box for each letter in the logo color.
added match and move in the transitions. Done! Wow, we've covered a lot today and hopefully you're ready to animate your logo. Since you're still here, check out our playlist full of top tips so you can become a Canva master. I mentioned email signatures earlier. Animated logos look great in there. Check out this video that goes into detail about that. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm working on another tutorial about layout and letterheads. You don't want to miss that one. Happy animating!